guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for the final movie for Star Wars for this year. Uh, because I have decided that I, I'm not going to watch the last film, The the Rise of Skywalker. I think that is the, the final movie. Uh, I'm not going to watch it on the, on the theater. I'm going to wait for the uh, release online. I'm going to watch it there. I'm going to react for the first time for all of you since I have done all my reactions for uh, Star Wars and that one feels like such an epic conclusion. I want to enjoy it with all of you. So I'm going to make the sacrifice and I'm going to just wait to be online so I can buy it and then react to it. So I hope you guys yeah, hope you guys are, are waiting for that. So right now I'm going to react to the other spin-off movie, which is Solo, a Star Wars story, if I'm not wrong. Yes, a Star Wars story. And I'm guessing that this is also a standalone-ish kind of film since the previous one kind of like really ended, like everybody died. It was very uh, dramatic and... But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to um, watch it and to enjoy it with all of you. Thank you, Haiti, for sponsoring this film and for sponsoring the entire uh, Star Wars saga. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, you are the reason why I'm going to wait for uh, the film to be uh, released uh, online uh, so I can watch it with all of you. I'm going to wait for the official release which I'm guessing will be in like a month, a month and a half. I'm going to wait for that. I'm not going to watch like a cheap <laughs> pirate copy of it. Nah, I'm going to wait for the official release. I'm going to set myself here and I'm going to enjoy it. I have a good enough TV, like big enough TV with good quality. So I can, I feel like I can enjoy it. I did the same thing for uh, one of the um, Avengers film. Then I couldn't wait for Captain, Captain Marvel or... <laughs> Uh, end game and I went to the movies and it was amazing. It was an amazing experience for oh and I have watched uh, Spider Man as well. Uh, but I just just I couldn't wait for those. I was too hyped. Um, but for Star Wars, even though I'm hyped about it, I just I feel like I need to watch it with all of you. You know, I did like going into the theater for Marvel for End Game and for all of that, but I just I miss this. You know, so. I'm going to do this for Star Wars and just compare, you know, my my experience with one and the other, you know. Um, anyway, so I'm here. Hope you guys enjoy. I've been having some trouble with my internet uh, connection for the past two days with my internet and with my cable. Like, imagine, I haven't even, I haven't been able to watch anything, stream anything, and not even watch TV because I haven't have service because something broke around my block and everyone around uh, my block is, didn't have uh, internet or cable. So, they, they fixed it uh, yesterday, very late yesterday, and it's been running okay so far. So, I'm going, I said, you know what? I think it's good for me to stream. I'm downloading an episode right now, so I should be good with streaming. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Thank you so much to Haiti for sponsoring all this film. If you're watching the Uncut Reaction on Patreon, please don't forget to give this video a heart. Comment all your thoughts about this movie and continue supporting for more because, like I said... The next reaction that I do for Star Wars will be the final one, Episode 9. Uh, the Rise of a Skywalker, if I'm not wrong. And I'm really excited. Also, check it out. I have Princess Leia, Kylo Ren, and Han Solo. And then a bunch of like little toys. Do you see? It's Darth Vader. I have Yoda. I have uh, R2-D2. A Stump Trooper. See? And if I'm not wrong, this is, this is Rey. I'm not sure if it's Rey or Princess Leia. I'm not sure. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure which one it is. Someone uh, gave to me that as a gift. And I'm not sure. They just gave it to me like that. So, but I, I also have my Star Wars shirt. See? Star Wars. I don't know what the hell it says. But, yeah. So, all Star Wars. I'm a fan now. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys could do support for more. And that's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Solo, a Star Wars story. Yes, here we go. Yeah, that's Amelia Clark. Okay. So, Han 
man had a girlfriend. Hey, you two. I'm not feeling good about this. I feel like he's gonna die. This is... Oh, she did uh... Oh, we get no. Ouch! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! I'm alone. Solo. Solo. <laughs> oh, so he joined, so he can learn. Oh, this is sad when, the, when they were trying to invade every planet in the galaxy. There's a beast? There's a beast. <laughs> You're a threat to their plan, Han. Wait, is that Chewie? Yes, it is. Cheeky and moof milker. <laughs> oh, it worked. And a great friendship <laughs> is born. He's right. You are tone deaf. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I am, tone deaf. What so I am. Uh oh. Oh yes. Oh no. I'm gonna have to finish the job from right here. What? What? <gasps> Holy! Oh my God. This is one thing that I don't like about this spin-off. I get attached to people and then they die. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> what is she doing here? How did she escape? So she is she's what, I'm like a mistress or something? With the pipe. Right, and so nobody's gonna know we're working for you. He's really good. Possible. I remember him. I once won a subtropical moon in the ocean belt. And they're and talking about ship moment. is a millennium falcon. <laughs> Straight staves. <laughs> <laughs> What's the box? <laughs> and what if I don't elect to go to Kessel? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're my organic overlord. <laughs> I'm the millennium falcon. The fucking millennium falcon, man. Look at <laughs> that. They'll bring the prize to us. Oh, no. Well, I thought we'd talk a little first, and then, you know, she... <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I don't think she will I go. I'm afraid she's gonna die or something. You need anything? Equal rights? <laughs> I like L3. It's just us. You don't have to pretend. <laughs> I'm in the same situation. Oh, you really? Are. I'm sure you've noticed that Lando has feelings for me, which makes working <laughs> so difficult. I do not feel the same way about him. I fucking love it. Yes. How would that work? It works. Okay. <laughs> really? She handed him something. He's probably. Oh. Free your brothers and sisters or something. Just give me some space. <laughs> okay. So far, everything is working as Gordon as planned. Now they're free. <laughs> huh. That was impressive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really was. This is Han Solo. If some, someone can get out of this situation, he will. Only 11 more. 11? <laughs> I love that everybody's escaping. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh. Come on. What are you that for? Come on. First time that he flies the Millennium Falcon. Oh, that is sad. Uh, this is what I don't like about these movies. They all die. There's no way they're gonna waste a TIE fighter chasing down a little rinky dink freighter. Apparently they will. <laughs> That's my case! <laughs> oh, <custom piece. laughs> He's really worried about that. That's insane what they did. <laughs> oh Jesus. What on earth is that? Did that live? Side of the whatever you just said. Mods pulling us in, we're stuck. Oh no. Yeah, that didn't work. Holy crap. Whoa! We did it! Punch it! Yes. Last time they didn't have that push. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> what? I'm not kidding. Okay, you are the good. He really is. Oh, but we still have that problem with the the other group, right? Oh God! Surrounded. <laughs> They're gonna surround you, bitch, any moment. Am I missing something? What the kids? Crimson Dawn and the rest of the five syndicates have committed unspeakable crimes across the galaxy. Oh. We're allies, and the war's just begun. So are they gonna do it? 
Where's Tatooine? Oh, that, that, that there is where where Anakin wins his his first race. That's where where he. I knew that. Yeah. That's where where his mom stayed. I never asked for anything twice, huh? Oh my god. They sent me at least one of those are real. My other associate. Oh Can really? You come Who? In and join us, please. Beckett! Oh god. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh no. What if this is the real one? <laughs> yes! Coaxi. Yeah, is that He's one? Here with one of us. <laughs> oh. You go first. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh no, that's predictable. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Ah, okay, the diamond. Okay. Oh. Something is gonna happen to her, is it is, right? Always makes me smile. Are we sure the guy is dead? Is he about to stab you or something? No, he has the same thing <laughs> she has. From now on. Wait, I'm confused. Who is she supposed to be then? So oh god, that's me when I wake up. I hope you're still paying attention because now I'm gonna tell you the most important. <laughs> Yeah, he did pay attention. We need warriors and leaders like you. He didn't join the rebellion right now. We'll do it later. Maybe someday you'll feel different. <laughs> he did. Oh, look at you. I thought he was going to rip your arm off. <laughs> I knew you were kidding. You want a rematch. But now he knows how to Why win. Not? Because he saw that. And now you, he wins the Millennium Falcon, right? Shit. If you'd only had this little green Psylocke, you would have been this. No! <laughs> 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 got the Millennium Falcon. Very big gang. Yes, right where it belongs. Okay, guys, so that was the end of Solo, a Star, Star Wars story. And it was really, like always, you know, Really good. It was a little bit like there were a little bit like halfway through the film, a little bit of like very slow pace, but then it picks up again, and it was just fantastic. Um, one of the things that I liked the, the most about these two uh, films is how you know how it feels that it didn't matter what happened prior. It didn't matter all the crazy things, all the encounters, all the things. It didn't matter all of that. They were always going to be who they end up being. Like they were, they were going to end up in the places that they are supposed to end up at the end. You know, I feel like it didn't matter that he fell in love or he was in love with Kira. It didn't matter that he uh, didn't have the Millennium Falcon at first. Everything was going to work out, and it was going to happen exactly like it was. It, it's it's a very, uh, I guess, hard thing to do is to to uh, write something that makes sense for the entire franchise, and yet get you excited about it because you know where it ends. You know that. Chewie will be with him. You know that they are going to make it. You know the end. For instance, for ha for Han Solo, you know where the character will end. Yet you are still hoping that nothing happens to her, to him, or that he doesn't get killed or something like that. Because the writing and the the story is so good that you forget for a second a second all the facts. But yet you enjoy. All the little things at the same time, you know, you enjoy, you know, get him getting the Millennium Falcon, he riding the Millennium Falcon for the first time, him talking to Chewie for the first time when you saw Chewie for the first time when he's like supposed to fight the monster and all of it. And you know, oh my God, they're going to become best friends and they're going to be like in each other's lives forever, you know, um... Even though you know where it is, you still get excited. It's 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 an amazing feeling. 
I, I feel like, you know, these stories, even though they are, you know, spin-offs and they are part of the story, but not, like, so important that they will change something, um, I find myself, you know, liking them and, like, taking them for what they are. Just small stories about this big universe that is Star Wars. Because there is no much you you can do. There is no many stories you can bend to try to fix it. Because if you do, you kind of will ruin important parts of the uh, of the main main saga, you know? So you have to be very careful. You have to make things work perfectly, you know? And I, I honestly, I loved, loved this film. Uh, the guy's take on Han Solo and the, like even when you uh, first get to know why he becomes Han Solo, where he learns how to fly and everything. Um, it's just it was it was amazing. It was amazing, you know. It was amazing knowing all these little details. I, I truly had like a wonder I had a wonderful time watching this film. Um and like like I was saying, just taking it for what it is, these little stories. And at first I was like when I I read the title, it was solo, it's Star Wars, and I was like, I don't wanna get too much into it. Of course it has to be about Han Solo, you know. Uh it was amazing. It was amazing. I liked um, the guy's rendition of the character. Uh, I mean, this is an iconic character, okay? Played by an iconic actor, you know? Her, uh, and, and honestly, he did an amazing job. He had some of the quirks um, without being, you know, just copying him. You know, at the same time, making the character its own, but not deviating for, from the canon that we already know. But also, this is so far back from where where we first met him or where we left with the character that, you know, you see the evolution and you... I, feel, I, I take it, you know, I like it. I, I really did. I don't know if people who have been, like fans of the franchise for like the longest time I've been with the with this for the past I don't know six months maybe no and like I'm crazy about it like I got a shirt I have my Funkos I have my toys and all, all of it and I'm getting in the Star Wars crazy fan mode you know but I I don't want to like I would love to know like um people who have known uh the characters for a long time how did you guys feel about having someone else playing the role that you guys already love you know is it was it weird how, what was the critics uh, opinion of it I mean because sometimes reviews and things like that I don't I don't like when I'm about to go to watch a film even if it's a spoiler free review I don't like to read them because I don't like people to, like... I don't want to get other people's ideas in my head about what I'm going to feel. I don't let others influence my idea. After I, I, I have watched what I wanted to watch, I might read a few reviews, you know, to know if... Oh, if they felt the same. It's the same thing that happens with reactions. After I watch an episode, I do myself also watch... Uh, uh, some reactions, not that many, because I, I, I don't like getting myself influenced by other people's opinion, because I, I just, I want to give my honest opinion, you know, without any, out, like, another source influence on my opinion, which, it, it happens, you know, even if you try to avoid it, it happens, uh, but I would love to know what you guys have thought about this, about this film specifically, about Han Solo as a character, about Kira, because I'm a little bit confused about what that ending means. Where did, I was expecting for her to die, and I was like, I cannot watch Amelia die on my screen again. I cannot do it, okay? And when she was fighting, like, I saw my Khaleesi there. I know, I'm not a crazy fan who cannot separate actor from character, but she's my Khaleesi, you know, 
And like I saw her when she was like the fire in her eyes. I was like, oh my god, there she is, my Dinosaur Targaryen Stormborn. She had like 300 titles, but I love her so much. I loved her so much. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Um, but it was amazing, you know, but I was intrigued by what the hell happened. Like, who did she become? Did we know her on the other films? Then when they mentioned Tatooine, I was like, I was confused because at the end when, when Ray finds the Millennial Falcon, I thought she wasn't Tatooine. No, she wasn't. It was Anakin Skywalker. When they fight, you know, and they've raised the cars, that is Tatooine. I didn't remember that. But I knew it sounded familiar. So I think I get the, get a few points, even though I knew. Right? I think I do. Anyway, so this episode... Episode? What? This film was amazing. I loved it. Of course, the fight scenes, everything. It was just amazing. The story, you know. And I love how, you know, this one event could have changed everything, you know? And she's like, well, this is going to be what starts a rebellion. You know, the rebellion. The one who, like, Hansel was like, oh, no, I'm, gonna be, I'm not going to be part of it. And in a way, he helped to start it, you know? He stopped. He did a good thing. And he always, he never believed he was one of the good guys. And he, he is. He truly is, you know? He might not be your conventional good guy because he always does want something for himself at the same time but he's good you know um and i love it that i love it that he helped in a way started the rebellion as well like i'm telling you um there there is a something the producer of fringe the show that i watched and now it's covered by all these funkos but the show that i told you guys that I love well he said one time I don't remember he said if he said it to me on a tweet or if he just said it in general that whatever you do whatever path you take you always find yourself at the doors of your destiny of, of that thing that you are destined to destined to do doesn't matter that you feel like you go like the opposite direction one turn and you find yourself right where you're supposed to be and that is the case for Han Solo you know um but yeah yeah like I said I love it this film uh thank you so much to Haiti Markham for sponsoring the entire um saga for Star Wars I cannot wait like literally cannot wait for Star Wars, the final uh, episode nine for for it to be online, so I can watch it, stream it in full HD, 4K, whatever way, and maybe, maybe I have heard, and like I'm going to go crazy, okay? I'm gonna save my money. Like I have heard that they're gonna do like a box box set with the all the films, all the films for Star Wars. In 4K, they're gonna re like re re render them in 4K, and I am going to like I am really thinking about getting the entire box set and having it there for me, you know. And also, I'm gonna buy like an external Blu-ray uh, um, disc so I can like stream my movies from 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 a DVD or like a Blu-ray. I think it will be easier for me. And better quality as well. Um, and I'm gonna... I, I, I was thinking, you know, maybe if I buy it, maybe can, we can, like, see, like, the behind the scenes and maybe bloopers or, like, you know, maybe, like, even, like, watch with, like, the commentary. I have never watched that, you know? For the other films. The one, the first... The last film, I'm gonna watch it, like, right when it, it premieres, you know? When it's released online. So I'm guessing in, like, a month ish or maybe a month and a half or something like that and i'm gonna be right there you know waiting for it when will will i don't think that they they're gonna have like a a date for the release yet let's see star wars the rise of skywalker 
Um, what's the name? Um, how to um, pre-order? Pre-order online, something like that. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna find it. Oh, here. Star Wars, the Skywalker, for the. Okay, they are available for pre order. It's scheduled for March? So three months from now? Well, but that is the March, that means February for, for the digital copy, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah, because a few weeks before the release of the actual Blu-ray or DVD or whatever, they do release the, the film. So, February, mid-February, yeah, around that time. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for that. Thank you so much to Haiti. Like I said, I cannot wait for the final film, to watch the final film. Do not spoil anything for me if you're watching this before I watch the, the, the last film. I hope you guys are enjoying I hope you guys had an amazing experience in the theater. I... Honestly, want to share my reaction with all of you. I think it will be amazing. And I will get to talk to you guys because you guys have seen me take this journey. And I want to end it with you guys. So I, I, don't, I don't mind, even though I'm going crazy for Star Wars, I do not mind waiting. And like I said, I have a big TV now, so I don't think it's going to be like that much. I, I do like the fact that on this TV, you do get to see a lot more detail than on the big screen. Maybe it's because I'm kind of blind. Even if when I go with, with glasses, I'm kind of like, you know, so it's better like this, in, in my opinion. I'm going to try. I did the movie thing for the Marvel film, films. I enjoyed it, but then at the end, I didn't have anyone to talk to about. So I'm now going to do it here. So I get to talk to you guys and wait which option was better for me. So it will be a good test run. Um, that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and for all your support. Give a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. If you're watching on YouTube, go to Patreon to watch the extended version. And that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching and for all your support. You guys are fantastic. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Star Wars in February, probably, for, for episode 9. So, yeah, that's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.